Hello first grade, so today we are going to start this mouse paint collage. And um, on the first day we're going to work on the paint, and then on the following days we're going to work on our mice. So the way that you start this is you're going to start with a plain white piece of paper. You need to write your name and the day you have art. Day A, day B, day C. You're going to flip it over, make sure it's on a placemat because you're going to be painting the whole paper. I don't want you to get paint on the table, so make sure it's on a placemat. You're going to start with a dry paintbrush and you're going to start with yellow. You want to use yellow while it's still clean and nobody around you messes it up. And you're going to take this big paintbrush and you're going to paint some really big areas with yellow. A couple of really big areas. <clears throat> so I've, it feels like I've almost painted my whole paper yellow, but I haven't. So now you're going to take your messy paintbrush you're going to clean it off really good in the water. Swish it back and forth, and then that's why we have the sponges because we want a dry paintbrush when we're working with liquid temper paint. We don't want to put a whole bunch of water in the paint because then it just makes it runny and the colors aren't as vibrant and bright. So then you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to pull it across the sponge. You're not jabbing it into the sponge or swishing it around. You're just pulling it across the sponge to get it as dry as possible. And then you're going to move to another primary color. I always go to red next and save blue for last. And you're going to take this red and you're going to paint over part of the yellow so that you mix them together to make what color second grade? Red and yellow make what color? You are correct. They make orange. Red and yellow make orange. So you're going to make red, paint red on part of the yellow, mix them together and make orange. And you're going to paint some red in some just plain white space. Leave a little bit of white space for some blue. Because when we're finished, I want you to have some red, some yellow, and some blue. But I also want you to have some orange, some green, and some purple. So you want to paint these colors on plain white areas too. So now I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off. And for the rest of the paper, I'm going to use blue. So by the time you get to red, you want a lot of the paper painted. You don't want a lot of white paper showing when you get to blue at the end after you're finished with red. So now I'm going to dry my paintbrush off on the sponge and I'm going to finish with blue. So I'm going to take blue and I'm going to mix it with the red and blue and red mixed together make what color first grade? Blue and red. They make violet, absolutely. And so then I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to paint some yellow areas. I'm going to mix the yellow and the blue together. And what is that going to make first grade? Blue and yellow mixed together make what color? You are correct. It makes green. So I made sure, now that I'm finished, my whole paper is painted, I made sure I have some red, some yellow, and some blue. And then I have some green, some orange, and some purple. So if you've done that, you're finished. Your paintbrush goes in the bowl of water, and you're going to put your painting on the drying rack. Hello, first grade. So today we are going to make our mice for our mouse paint collage. So you're going to start with a one white piece of paper and you're going to get an oval pattern that you're going to trace around with your pencil. Then you're going to use these funny edged scissors that are in your basket to cut around the oval. And you want to stay right on the pencil lines So that your oval doesn't get too small. I can see a little bit of my pencil lines here so this is going to be the back of my mouse so I'm going to flip that over. Then you're going to get yourself a small pink piece of paper and a small circle to trace around and put the circle near the edge of your paper because you want to use this paper for all your mice so don't put these circles right in the middle. So I'm going to put my circle right along the edge and then I'm going to fold my paper over just wide enough to fit that circle on. So I'm not folding it completely in half. I'm just folding over part of it to keep that circle on one side. And then I'm going to take my regular scissors, not my funny cut scissors, my regular scissors and I'm going to cut out this circle. And by keeping the paper folded, when I cut, I cut out two circles at the same time. So this saves me some time. I could trace each one. Trace one, cut it out, trace one, cut it out, but that takes longer. So by tracing one, folding my paper over, then I get two circles, which is perfect. Now you can see my pencil lines here. I didn't really cut those off, so this is going to have to be the back of my ear. 
So I'm gonna stack these two circles together, put them together, and I'm gonna snip off one side of them to make two straight sides, or one straight side on each circle. So since the pencil lines are on this, I'm gonna flip it over, and you wanna make a V shape or the top of a triangle. So if I turn my mouse this way, I'm creating a V shape with those straight edges. If I turn my mouse this way, it's the top of a triangle. Then I want you to take a glue bottle and put a dot of glue on the back of the ear and push that down and flip over the other one, a dot of glue, and flip that down. Then you're going to get a black colored pencil. So I did not use a co black colored pencil to trace this and I did not use a black colored pencil to trace the oval. This is the only time you use your black colored pencil. You're gonna add a circle for the nose, a black circle right at the end. So this triangle, this point, shows you where the face is. And then for two eyes, I'm gonna do a circle or oval eye. And then I'm gonna do a black dot inside. And so there's my mouse. Oh, I forgot some whiskers. Can I add some whiskers? If you don't wanna add whiskers, you don't have to. And now I need to add a tail. So I go back to my pink paper. And on this side, where the long part is, where it hasn't been cut, I'm going to take my regular pencil and I'm going to draw a tail that goes up, curves around, and comes back down. And I want it to be skinny. Uh, mice do not have fat tails. They have skinny tails. So I'm going to cut up, around, and back down. And again, I'm using my regular scissors, not the funny scissors, to cut this tail out. Now you can see I've got my pencil lines on this side. So I'm going to flip it over. This is going to be the back. And I'm going to flip it over. And on the front, where there is no pencil line, I'm going to put a little dot of glue. And then I'm going to pick up my mouse and set it right on top of that little dot of glue and hold that there. If I want to give it a minute to dry, I could just flip that over and give it just a minute to dry. Now, if you think this tail is too long, you could snip it and make it a little bit shorter. So you could cut a little bit of it off. Don't cut the round part off, but the, the straight part. You don't have to cut it off. You can leave it nice and long, but if you want it a little bit shorter, go ahead. And you don't want it to be too short. Mice have nice long pink tails. So you're gonna glue that on, that tail on, and then you have your finished mouse, and now he's ready to be glued onto your painted paper. So when you glue your mouse on, you're going to flip him over, you're going to put a frame of glue around the white oval and then you're going to put a tiny little line of glue on the tail and then flip your mouse over and somewhere on your paper wherever you want to put him you're going to lay him down and hold him down and gently tap the tail to get it to stick stick to your painted paper and so now you've completed one of your mice you need to make two more so we're going to do those steps all over again you're going to get another white piece of paper you're gonna get your oval out and using your regular pencil, you're gonna trace around that oval with your regular pencil. You're gonna put the oval back, then you're gonna use your funny edge scissors to cut right on that pencil line. Very carefully, remember don't cut inside it or your oval will be too small. You wanna keep your oval nice and big. So I can see a little bit of my pencil lines here, so I'm gonna flip that over get back my pink paper and right here fold that back over put my circle pattern down using a regular pencil trace around my circle pattern remove that using plain regular scissors I'm going to carefully cut this folded paper and so now I have two circles cut out at the same time it saved me a little time I'm going to trim off one side of the ears so that I get these straight sides. And again, remember, I'm going to make a V. So this side has some pencil lines on it. So I'm going to lay that down so you can't see my pencil lines. I'm going to create a V shape with those straight sides. Put a dot of glue. Glue it down. Grab the other one. Dot of glue, glue it down. So I create this V shape so I know where the face of my mouse goes. So now I'm going to spin it around. Now I'm going to use the black color pencil, a black circle nose, ovals for the eyes, black dots in the eyes. 
and then I need another tail. So I can draw it with my pencil, but this time I think I'm going to just cut it out. A nice long skinny tail. We shouldn't have any short fat tails. And then I'm going to put a dot of glue on the end of the tail, lift up my mouse, put it down on that glue, give it a little bit of time to get sticky. I'm going to pull out my painted paper again, flip my mouse over, do a frame of glue, and then a thin line of glue along the tail, flip my mouse over, and glue it down on my painted paper. Try to make sure my mouse's tail stays straight and doesn't bend. So there's my second mouse. So I need to do this all over again one more time for my third mouse. There you have your finished mouse paint collage. Good job, first grade.